Well, welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And in just a moment, we're going to do a little video clip here of what's going on in Washington. All right. I don't want to get like everybody thinking I'm only watching CNN. So what I did was, is you're going to get some video clips from all the news networks and you all can see what's going on and what they're saying. Personally, right now, it's a great time to pray for this country. And if they're going to bring in the National Guard, it's probably a good time to pray for all those people, even if you don't agree with them. Just saying, folks, it ain't looking good. Hope you were prepped and ready. So enjoy the video and see the different sides from both sides and see all the views. And you pick out whichever one you want to consider that is fake news. Okay, well, th this way here, nobody can say that I'm being biased. So we're going to listen in on a little bit of each news broadcast. On Where what's going on, on in this side, country so right this now, folks. Capitol, this is why you pray. What you got are all the people who are on the front steps of the Capitol. They chant. They say things like "Fight for Trump." They shout from time to time. Uh, and we can show the the uh, uh, steps in on the southeast side of the Capitol. Uh, what I can tell you about is we've seen a couple of squads of police, and uh, I would call it heavy riot gear, head down for the southeast side of the Capitol, and uh, people went after them. Can't really tell you where they were going and what they were doing if they uh, entered uh, into that part of the Capitol. But as far as talking to people, as far as what they have done, what has been accomplished. I did get the demonstrators to say, well, what is happening here is sad. What they see here is sad, but they say sad that it had to happen. They say that this is a revolution, that this is a message to them. Who are them? Both Republicans and Democrats, particularly, they say, those Republicans who did not get on board with President Trump. As far as storming the Capitol, stopping the proceeding today, uh, one of the demonstrators I talked to called that a victory, but also said that it went too far. As far as the scene set around here, it's, uh, it's cold, it's brisk. People are walking around. They've got their flags at the ready. Mostly people milling about. And one of the points that the demonstrators are making is that this is different from what we have seen with the, the BLM type demonstrations, because aside from some of the things that were uh, broken getting into the Capitol uh, and disregarding the, the reports now of the woman who was shot, but aside from the things that were broken uh, getting into the Capitol in terms of doors, they say there is no vandalism taking place. This is people sending uh, a message. And again, I'm just reflecting their viewpoints in the people let's see what they have to say from the capital but all these numbers are expected to increase per the spokesperson uh so at this time obviously uh, uh this has gone from uh from being a uh, protest to a what appears to be an occupation of the u.s capital right. uh, to also an incident that has turned uh, certainly violent chuck tom do you have an idea of how many um law enforcement agencies are now involved in trying to clear the Capitol. And is it clear who's lead right now? I, I mean, I can already think we have Capitol Police, Secret Service. We've seen um, Metro PD. We know the National Guard's been activated. Um, but who's in charge? And, and do they, you know, do, do you get a sense of they have a plan to clear the Capitol and clear the Capitol's steps? So the easy question first is that this is the U.S. Capitol Police's jurisdiction at this point so they're in charge they can obviously call in reinforcements and there's every indication that that is occurring as you said as far as what needs to happen from here uh, whether it's using metro police obviously it's not just the capital you've got an awful lot of people that are there uh, that are obviously looking to cause damage create violence and make a statement today uh, i would imagine they would be concerned about other areas of the city i would imagine they'd be concerned about their transit system so you can't leave those abandoned typically in this type of situation if i was thinking if this was the NY IPD, perhaps Boston Police and others, uh, other law enforcement agencies that I cover, uh, they would uh, have an overwhelming show of force from here on out. Presumably the National Guard could be used for that. At this point, you've got to get control of the situation. Some of the video that we've seen, Chuck, uh, shows a situation where you have one officer in the Capitol backing up uh, with, a, uh, uh, with, a, with a stick out. A, um, move over one president more. sits in the White House and the Tigers are loose uh, at the Capitol. This, you know, I, I, just let me just say one more thing, Gloria. I am the son of an immigrant who fled a country because of scenes like this and came to the United States because this was a country of law. This was a country of laws. And many of us share that story. 
I am in tears today to see this scene. This is not an American scene, and this was not a necessary scene. And I, I understand completely why it happened. Gloria? I'm, I'm heartbroken. Um, you know, I spent 10 years uh, walking up and down those steps covering Capitol Hill, having a great deal of respect for the people who serve in that Capitol. Most of the time, by the way, talk about policy, even with Senator Santorum over there. And I watched this today and I said, that's, that's my capital. That's my house. That's our house. And these are domestic terrorists. They're ripping it apart. And then I saw a tweet by Ivanka Trump, which she took down, which called them American patriots. She said, you know, any security breach is unacceptable, etc. But she called them American patriots. That is not what I call them. These are people who march there to do damage. And they march there to do damage in the middle of a constitutional session in which a presidential election, free and fair, was being certified. And you have to go back to what the president, to, this is what David is talking about, what the president said earlier today in his speech. And he said, we're going to walk down to the Capitol. We're going to cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women, the ones who support him. We're probably not going to be cheering because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. So we'll walk down Pennsylvania Avenue and lose lethal force unless uh, they saw an armed person or, or lethal force was being used against them. And so uh, when they are overwhelmed by, by tens of thousands of protesters, uh, coming through the, the U.S. Capitol, uh, the decision not to use lethal force, I think, was a wise decision. Uh, we can repair uh, the damage to the U.S. Capitol. We are not going to uh, bring back lives. And, and I commend the police for their restraint and, and just hope that the protesters disband soon. Ken Buck, thank you, sir. Republican from Colorado. We'll be back in touch with you and your office and to all your colleagues. Uh, men and women there in the U.S. Capitol building, be safe, okay? Thank you. Uh, back to Brett Baer, getting some more information. Brett, we were talking a short time ago maybe about the National Guard. I, I don't know if you've been able to advance that or not, but good afternoon again. Welcome back to our coverage. Yeah, good afternoon, Bill. I, it, I have been on the phone. Uh, it is in the process. It's not a, an easy process. It is a, uh, It takes time, and but it is coming, and the White House has sent out a I noticed that the National Guard is on the way. Uh, they It takes a few hours to get up and running. You know, the security plan, I've heard from officials that uh, they had a big meeting before all of this happened. They, uh, The local police, the Capitol Police, mm -hmm. and uh, they were say, they said... So what does everybody think is going to happen when the National Guard shows up? Anybody have any clue? Are they going to show up with milk and cookies and maybe some coffee? I don't think so, people. So they may want to, like... Turn around and get the hell off there and get back down on the street where they belong. Really, people? The door, it appears, of the House floor uh, is, is quite something and is probably going to get a lot of attention. Brett, thank you. We want to get in touch with everybody who's been riding along with us for the past several hours. Martha McCallum and Jed Pergram, Juan Williams and Chris Wallace and... Uh, once we get more images, we'll describe them to our viewers, but they've been coming in now, um, I would say, more frequently than they had prior. And seeing the Senate floor with half a dozen people come inside uh, without an escort is just, it's a phenomenal sight. Uh, to Martha McCallum, as we continue to gauge reaction, Martha, what are you picking up now? Well, you know... Uh Vice President Pence has tweeted again, the violence and destruction taking place at the U.S. Capitol must stop, and it must stop now. Anyone involved must respect law enforcement officers and immediately leave the building. And I'm struck by these images, as we all are. Uh, look at this. I mean, it's just incredible. Uh, these members of the House crouching down uh, for safety as the place is overrun. It's absolutely unbelievable. And some of these images of these people who are inside these offices and inside this chamber um, are, are quite clear. And I would imagine that these people uh, will be arrested <laughs> as soon as they leave the building. Uh, they're easily identifiable and they have threatened. One would think 
to go in there and to try to like have a party, well, yep, you're probably going to get arrested. If you're lucky, that's the least that's going to happen to you. It's very striking that we have not seen the president yet. Did anybody actually really see the part where the protesters were with Fox News and were saying that they were fake news? I found that quite ironic. Well, let's see what else is going Very on. Very unstable time. Martha, as soon as you said that, we have a new image to share with our viewers. Here is a... Uh, ...to uh, ensue. So you really need to take care of the people inside first. And then they can deal with, uh, you know, when I, when I say the people, I mean the electors. And then they can deal with uh, the protesters uh, that are there, uh, you know, damaging property, uh, you know, sitting at desks and doing all the other things that um, irreprehensible acts that we're looking at. So, I, I, but I think the first thing is making sure that the electors are safe and that they, they can account for all of them. Yeah. Carmen Betts, the former chief, uh, Seattle Police Chief, really appreciate you coming on and sharing your experiences and, and, and expertise with us. Thank you very Great. much. Thank I want to bring in um, Pete Williams. But Pete, before I do that, I want to just read a quick joint statement from the um, the top two Democrats in Congress, Chuck Schumer and the uh, Senator Chuck Schumer and Speaker Nancy Pelosi. It's a simple statement and it's directed at the president. We are calling on President Trump to demand that all protesters leave the U.S. Capitol and Capitol grounds immediately. That's the extent. 